Molly. Out of all of the things required for a wedding, I thought writing the vows would be the easy bit. Stand up here, tell you and everyone else how much I love you, all the things I promise to do, and how excited I am for the next chapter. Tell you that you are the best person I know, and the best person for me. That you make me laugh every day. The type of laugh that's hard to stop, and even harder to explain. That you were the most beautiful fiancé, you are the most beautiful bride, and you will be the most beautiful wife. That I'm, in, that I'm in complete amazement of the level of kindness you constantly show towards me and everyone else. That the past five years have been so incredibly enjoyable, they seem to have gone in the blink of an eye, yet I simultaneously struggle to remember my life without you. That you stole my heart that night over the River Thames, and it is yours to keep, that I never want it back. That I, Mark Hampton, take you, Holly Bain, to be my wife. Unfortunately for me, I immediately got overthinking the word vow. You see, to me, vow seems to imply some level of difficulty, reluctance or duty. I would vow to do something hard, something I would rather not, or something I feel I must do. If that were the case, I'd be up here vowing to always restack the dishwasher after your best attempt, vowing to not rush you after you've left everything to the last minute, and vowing not to complain when you decide that my body heat is a better way to f warm up your freezing cold feet than putting on socks. I could vow to spend less time worrying about the lawn, vow to quote less Simpsons, or vow to get rid of the fan once and for all. <laughs> and while I know you would appreciate them all, that's not what I'm up here to say. The things I'm up here to say are said with an effortless certainty and a proud appreciation of how lucky I am to be the one saying them. I get to stand up in front of our closest friends and family and tell the love of my life that we get to spend the rest of our lives together. I get to always be there for you, through the many good times and few bad, doing whatever I can to make things that little bit better. I get to wake up with a smile every day, not just because you're off to an early morning gym session and I get to stay in bed, but because I defied the infinitely small chance of meeting the one person in the world that makes me and my life the best versions they can be. I get to continue to enjoy that wonderful feeling when friends, family and colleagues tell me time and again how amazing you are. Our relationship has been the greatest and easiest thing I've ever been a part of and I'm lucky that whatever challenges get thrown at us, I know our marriage won't be one of them. So call them vows, promises, oaths or commitments, I just can't wait to get started. Hammer. Our journey has been so special, each moment better than the last. You're everything I dreamed of in a husband and more, and I feel incredibly lucky to be up here with you today. You're quite literally the most beautiful person I've ever known inside and out, and it is you I thank for waiting for me and drawing me home on my return from London. We've come a long way these past five years, and I treasure the life that we've made together so far. From humble beginnings where we first locked eyes, you had not a hair on your head, a care in the world, just a strong bow in one hand and a twinkle in your eye. To some of our bigger accomplishments, moving to different cities, enduring long distance, exploring incredible parts of the world, and of course, buying our first home. Over this time, you've taught me to believe in myself, to step outside my comfort zone, and to always laugh and always love. There is truly no feeling that compares to the comfort that you bring me every day. I love how much fun we have together, how safe you make me feel, and how you always take me as I am. You are one of the smartest guys I know, whether it be with numbers, scientific facts, or even your number one talent, space questions. I love that you're always there to help me problem solve when I'm being indecisive. You always know when I'm hangry, and you always know what to say at exactly the right time. I love that you make me feel like the only girl in the world and that I get to experience it every day. Hammer, today becomes the best day of my life. I feel privileged to be standing up here marrying you and I'm excited to, and proud to become your wife. I, Holly Renee Bain, take you, Mark Edward Hampton, to be my husband. 
I promise to honour and cherish every day with you, to support you, challenge you, inspire you, and above all, love you. I promise to always look at you the way you look at a freshly cut lawn, and, and to respect everything you have to say, except when you ask to watch six hours cr of cricket for five days straight. I promise to be loyal, faithful, and never take our time together for granted. I promise to always be your co-head chef and always support your love for your mum's Yorkshire puddings. I promise to always live by the meaning of your Thai foot tattoo and ensure every night is a good night. I promise to never doubt your DIY skills and always appreciate your fantastic dance moves. I promise to take you as you are, loving you, for who you are now and who you are yet to become. Thinking about our future really excites me. I can't wait to celebrate milestones with you as we enter this next chapter. I look forward to many more adventures, growing and learning alongside you. I love you as a companion, a life partner and an equal. Today, forever and for the rest of our days.